Yogi Riverstone with some genderqueer atheist reader news for the week of April 16, 2012. The genderqueer atheist reader is published by Andy Semler. Look for genderqueer atheists on Facebook and subscribe to the genderqueer atheist YouTube channel. Thank you. the Transgender Legal Defense and Education Fund. Register now for Equality and Justice Day, Tuesday, May 8th, in Albany, featuring a rally at the Capitol, workshops, causes, and visits with elected representatives. It's also the largest statewide gathering of our movement, helping us strengthen our ties and build the coalition so critical to advancing our goals. In years past, thousands of activists have converged on Albany to lobby and rally for passage of the Marriage Equality Act, Dignity for All Students Act, and Gender Expression Non-Discrimination Act, GENDA, G-E-N-D-A. As we gather for the first time since the historic passage of marriage, this year we'll thank legislators who voted the marriage bill into law and focus on building support for transgender non-discrimination and the essential health and human services our community needs. Register now with our partner, the Empire State Pride Agenda. Deadline is April 20th, 2012. often the trans community is subjected to violence, which at times has ended fatally. Laverne Cox, transgender reality television star and advocate, wrote in the Huffington Post, quote, this case highlights how even when trans people, particularly trans people of color, are lucky enough to survive the brutal violence that is part of so many of our lives, we are all too often victimized all over again by the criminal justice system, end quote. Cox makes a striking commentary here that suggests the imminent and cyclical dangers enmeshed in the lives of transgender persons of color. Hate crimes and death affect people of color at alarmingly higher rates, disproportionate to the other racial groups of the trans community. The Free CC Support Committee established a website and blog where supporters can stand in solidarity and become involved in various capacities. On the site, you can learn more about the attack and receive updates on CC's legal battle and the road to justice. In the coming days, the hearing and trial will take place, and the movement for equality of trans people needs your help. On April 24, 2012, supporters are encouraged to attend the hearing and evidentiary motions at the Hennepin County Government Center, 306th Street South, Minneapolis, Minnesota. The hearing will begin at 9 a.m. CC's trial is scheduled to follow on April 30th on the 13th floor of the Hennepin County Government Center. You can also show your support for CC by signing the petition, which was organized by the Free CC Support Committee. Sign the petition today in solidarity for CC McDonald and the LGBT community. You can also call, fax, or email the Attorney General. Information will be listed at Gender Queer Atheist Reader. GLAD urges the media to tell C.C. McDonald's story and the continued discrimination transgender people, particularly transgender women of color, continue to face when trying to participate fully in their communities. New voter ID laws will likely make it more difficult for more than 25,000 transgender voters to cast a ballot in November elections, according to a study released by the Williams Institute. Georgia, Indiana, Kansas, Mississippi, South Carolina, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Texas, and Wisconsin all have passed laws requiring voters to present government-issued photo identification before casting a ballot. 
but the laws impose unique barriers on transgender individuals since many do not have an updated identification, such as a driver's license, that lists their correct gender. Quote, Transgender people who have transitioned faced unique hurdles when acquiring or updating identification that would fulfill voter ID requirements because they must comply with the requirements for updating the name and gender on their state-issued or federally-issued IDs and records, end quote, wrote the study's author, Dr. Jody Herman. Quote, requirements for updating state-issued IDs vary widely by state and can be difficult and costly. Federal requirements also vary by agency, end quote. According to the National Transgender Discrimination Survey, NTDS, 40% of transgender citizens who have transitioned reported not having an updated driver's license and 74% did not have an updated U.S. passport. Ethnic minorities, youth, students, those of low incomes, and those with disabilities were less likely to have updated identifications than other transgender individuals. In addition, 40% of transgender individuals reported being harassed after presenting identification that didn't accurately reflect their gender. Quote, as election officials in these states begin planning for their fall elections, this research highlights the importance of educating poll workers in order to assure that transgender voters in their states have fair access to the ballot, end quote, said Herman. been just some of the news for April 16, 2012, brought to you by Gender Queer Atheist Reader. You can follow Gender Queer Atheist on Facebook, of course subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you go to the reader you'll see that there's a lot more articles including Tim Minchin, Ellen DeGeneres, Secular Humanism, books, art, entertainment, science, and more. This is a voluntary task of Gender Queer Atheist. Your support is appreciated. Stay tuned for lots more Gender Queer Atheist Reader News. Thank you for listening. <music>